everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share. And guys, it is Manchester United 1, West Bromwich Albion 0. Penchester United back at it again, another win. Well, back to back win against Everton and West Brom, but a lackluster display today. Nothing to be proud of. If you're a person that's, oh, guys, we got the three points today. You should be happy with the three points. If you have ambitions and you want to see the best from Manchester United and, you, and, and it's, just, it's more than just the three points, then, guys, you should be worried because today, another game where we could not beat or break a team that lost to play on a low block. Again, disgusting, boring as well. Boring football. I was tired. I fell asleep. Guys, I fell asleep in the last 10, 15 minutes. Woke up as soon as the match was finished. 15 minutes after, I was like, "What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Did we did we win one nil? Because boy, it was boring. Penalty again, guys. Another game where we play a whole 90 minutes and just win the game by a penalty. And it's concerning, guys, to see us win another game by a penalty because all we are doing right now is not really creating chances. From open play or being clinical enough to score from open play we're just seeing a team that is okay decent on the ball but cannot do anything with the ball and allows the what well, allows the opposition to just defend and have fun in the, at the back of their defense to, again to win this game yes i'm happy but overall you have to be honest with yourself guys Manchester united fans you have to be honest with yourself it wasn't good enough today it wasn't good enough in the final third. It wasn't good enough in midfield. It's, it's it's alarming. It's alarming. We cannot create. We cannot open up teams. With all our players that we have, all the good players that we had today, we cannot open up teams. And it's and it goes back down to what we do in training. What are we doing in training to break down teams, you know, just to open them up? I don't believe we have the structure in or the right coaches to actually implement a style of play where they can actually open up a team carve them open i don't believe we have that so we're in a situation where we just have to just bite our fingers all the time we have to bite our fingers it's squeaky bum time that's alex Ferguson always says squeaky bum time it's all squeaking because at the end of the day we're just watching this really really guys 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 that first half as well was trash Trash, trash deserves deserves to be in the bin. You know how women always says all oh, men are trash. Right now, Manchester United are trash. All Manchester United players are trash right now. We can just throw them in the bin because it's, we just need to start over again. We need to start over again with the coaching. We start. We need to start over again with the management. And it wasn't the best start. The best start of the half for thirty minutes because that's as well. West Brom looked good. So did Manchester United look good. Tellers looked good in the first half. Also, Bruno Fernandes looked good. But as well, giving the ball away several times. Giving the ball away several times. As much as he scored a penalty in the second half. I'm grateful for that. But Bruno Fernandes does give the ball away several times. And 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 as well, you have to just point fingers towards him. You can't just always compliment him when he does things right. Yes, compliment him. Give him his flowers when he does things right. But as well, you have to acknowledge the fact that he does give the ball away so many times. You're giving the ball away more than... Paul Pogba does. And I'm not here to just pick a battle between oh, who's better, Paul Pogba or Bruno Fernandes. I'm glad we have both of them. But he gives the ball away more than Paul Pogba does. Especially with the straightaway passes. And I hate that. I hate that. The first time attempt passes. Yes, I love the fact that Bruno is trying things and I respect that. Yeah. And that's the one thing about Bruno I like. He always try things to make things happen. And I will always allow that to happen as long as you are who you are and you, and you produce results. And Bruno does produce some results. But I've got to say, guys, that match was shit. It was shit. And again, we're going to go away to Istanbul and see the same thing again at Old Trafford. Because as well, at Old Trafford, we struggle to win matches. We're struggling to win matches. We're struggling to win. We're struggling to, we struggle to open up teams and pack them in. And this was the first win at, in the Premier League at Old Trafford. And guys, if this is the first win and we're in... Uh, towards the end of November going into the start of December and we've just got our first win at Old Trafford in the Premier League what are you happy for? I'm not trying to be negative but what are you happy for? 
There's nothing to be happy about. It is the worst start I've seen in a very long time since I've before I had balls on uh, before I had hair on my balls. Sorry, before I had hair on my balls, it's been the worst. Before I had hair on his chin, it's been the worst start I've in a long, long time. And we, we just. I don't see progression. I just don't see progression with this team, guys. Let me know if you see progression. But let me know what you thought of that game. Because that game was just boring. It was that lost. It was just it was just thank God we got the three points. But I'm concerned. I'm really, really concerned, guys. My overall opinion of this game? Terrible. Terrible. Terrible game. Boring. Rubbish. Change is need. Change is needed, guys. Oli has to go. And his coaching team has to go. Guys, let me know exactly what you thought of the match. My man in the match was has to be probably Tellers, um, whipping in good good crosses. Also connecting well with other players. Positive passing going forward as well. Direct passes to players' feet as well. I have to be proud of that. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of Alex Tellers. Don't give the match has to go to Oli and his coaching staff because yet again. I'm not seeing what they're doing in training. I'm not seeing what they're implementing in training. And if I'm not seeing it, then they're, they're useless. They need to go. What are you here for if I'm not seeing exactly what you do in training? My message to the fans, guys, I don't know. Let's start praying together. Let's fast together because we need good things to come to us. And with this regime right now, I'm not confident. I'm not confident of a good season. And if you want to salvage your season, now is the right time. I'm not out here barking Oli out, Oli out. I'm just saying that I want the best for Manchester United. And and what I'm seeing, I've been watching football for a very long time. I'm not seeing a style of play. I'm not seeing what we do with the ball. I'm not seeing what we do without the ball. I'm just seeing us being easy to play against. Um, um, easy to defend as well. Very, we're predictable at times. All we're doing is passing sideways to sideways, guys. I don't know if you like that. But let me know who your dog of the match was as well. And let me know who your... Man of the match was as well, guys. But guys, it's been wonderful. That is it for today. Catch me up for the Istanbul match reaction. Hopefully we win this one as well. If not, it's going to be peak. It's really going to be peak today. And catch and catch the catch up volume 18 that's been out. Also remember to watch the next week's one as well. Volume 19. Guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Remember to share, share to your friend. Remember to follow... Follow Red United TV one on Instagram. Also remember to follow Ivorian underscore Spice on the Instagram and also on Twitter, guys. Send me some questions and I'll read it out to you guys. Peace out.